Good morning and uh, thanks for joining me um, at a rather snowy Bleat Arm this morning. I wish I'd put my, uh, my spikes on my wellies. Um, so we're in the depths of winter. It's Bleat Arm uh, near Little Langdale. As you can see, uh, not much sky today. Um, so we'll, we'll, I'll just take you through um, a very basic sort of landscape setup um, that, that, that I tend to use, yeah? So this is my sort of go-to go -to setup. So um, I'm using a Gitso heavy duty tripod, carbon fibre tripod, which is not ideal in these conditions, but nevertheless, that's what I've got. I've centered the tripod, so the bubble's right in the center. I've got my Canon um, 5D on here, my full frame Canon. And um, something that, I mean, I know the area quite well anyway, but something that I look for in a composition uh, certainly you'll find it quite a lot in, in the lakes, is a lot of leading lines in tarns, yeah? A lot of um, fences leading to, you know, fells and mountains, etc. Usually, I mean, <coughs> you could see the Langdales just poking through there now, and obviously once I've taken that picture, once I've processed it, I'll be able to, uh, to bring those out quite a lot. But, uh, so I've got the tripod set up, um, I've got Canon 5D there, ready to go. I've got it in live view. Um, I've not done anything with this yet, but basically I'm going to just have a look at the exposure, okay? So I'm in live view. I'm gonna take an exposure reading for the foreground, usually to around about a third of the scene. And I'm also, uh, it would help if I'm in manual mode. I'm setting it to around about F, F13, something like that, because there's not a lot of background today. It's more foreground and midground, yeah? Usually, as I said, you could see the Langdales and you need a really, really large depth of field, you know, something like F16 and up for this location. But I'm going to take an exposure reading there and I'm also going to take an exposure reading for the sky. So that's two stops above the foreground, okay? So that means that I need to filter. Okay, so I'm going to use some leaf filters. I'm going to use a soft grad of um, possibly a nine grad, possibly a six grad soft. So let's have a look what we've got. So let's take the nine grad. It's the first one I can find. Um, I know the sun's position is directly behind us. So the polarizer at this point in time isn't actually going to um, do anything for me. Focus in, zoom in. Have a look at the, uh, get it pin sharp on that fence, just there, third of the way into the scene. Not got my shutter release, unfortunately, because I'm not doing a long exposure, so I've set it to a timed two second. And just take that. Okay little bit of a ring of mist around the top of that fell there, which is quite nice. Pity there's no structure in the sky, and there isn't because I'm trying to bring that out with the, uh, with the, with the filter, so not to worry. We'll take one portrait as well now, just to make sure I bring the camera over slightly, just to really accentuate that fence, which I really like. Make sure the filter's lined up. Again, focus in on the fence, as you can see. Make sure it's pin sharp, it is. So we're at F13, ISO 300, because it's just before sunrise. And that's what we get. Quite happy with that, really, considering the conditions. But that's my setup. I always tend to take, if, if the composition is right, I always tend to take um, a landscape shot and a portrait shot as well, okay? Because when you get it in post, you never really know what it's gonna look like and you've got two separate images to work with of the, of the one composition, the one area. So yeah, but that's my landscape setup. We'll get it back in post and we'll see what we can get. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. And please remember to subscribe to Chorley Photographic Society on YouTube.